Hey everyone, the local game store I go to has recently really got into Popper, uh, which I'm very excited about because a cheap format that I can play I think is going to give me a uh, wonderful entry into playing constructed formats. I, I've never really been interested in playing standard uh, just simply because the number of decks is so low, uh, the number of viable decks is so low, and uh, the, the cost to entry is just so high, whereas Popper Neither of that's true. There, there's plenty of very good decks. There's plenty of space for brewing, uh, which I love the creativity of building my own deck. Uh, there's also uh, the cost. I mean, I uh, just going on to MTG Goldfish really quick, I, I think like maybe one of them breaks the three digit price tag, but otherwise not really. They're all, all gonna be pretty small. That being said, uh, my all time favorite archetype in Magic the Gathering is Slivers. And I'm so excited because Popper, there is plenty of really good uh, uh, Popper uh, common slivers. Uh, just for starters, uh, the obvious ones is you want to have sliver lords. So you've got three of them. You've got sinew sliver, you've got predatory sliver, and then you've got the original one, which is muscle sliver. So that is uh, 12 creatures right there that you are always happy to play. They, they are instantly a 2-2. Uh, plus, uh, in multiples, they just power each other up. Um, I have, in order, since I'm going to be running green and white, so this is primarily going to be a green and white deck, uh, I am going to take advantage of that. So just to put some more slivers into the deck, I have Plated Sliver, uh, which is a, uh, Plated Sliver is a one white card, one white drop, uh, one one sliver. Uh, just it's a one drop, so I like that. I've got something to do on turn one. A lot of decks have lot have things to do on turn one, so I don't want to be left behind. Uh, and it also gives bonuses. I really like this one because it gives all slivers the plus O plus one. And one of the things that I noticed with a lot of the sideboards of, of Popper is there is a lot of elf hate. And the way that elf hate works is that it deals one damage, dealing one damage to a thing in order to kill elves or minus one, minus one, to, to one, minus one, minus one counter, or something something along those lines. And so it's very exciting that, that the Plated Sliver, being my one drop, instantly pushes everything out of the threat range of a single card dealing one damage. That that blinks a lot of sideboard heat, and since this is, in, this is a deck I'm brewing, they're not going to be prepared for it with some other, uh, some other hate instantly. I'm not saying that this is going to be an A-plus tier one deck instantly. Uh, I just bought the cards for it. I'm going to try out, I'm going to try out the deck tonight, um, which is fine, but I'm just, I'm so excited because there's such good stuff in here. Uh, I'm also going to be playing a uh, spinneret sliver. Uh, this is a two, two for two sliver, which is just like, honestly, uh, I was almost going to play a, a changeling that's a two, two for two, just because that, that counts as a sliver. And that would be really easy to put in there. And it would be a and it'd be a decent body in Popper, but the Spinneret Sliver, first off, it's it's actually a Sliver as opposed to a Changeling, uh, but it does give reach to to all of my Slivers. And one of one of the things that that is very common in Popper is is it Delver? Uh, not, not just is it, but uh, I'm sorry, just Delver. There's Mono Blue Delver. There's Is It Delver. There there are Delver decks. Uh, to have a three two flyer in the air is very scary. Now I've got a two two Sliver on the ground that I'm more than happy to trade for it. It also gives everything reach, so that's perfectly fine. If I'm scared of losing reach, I can block with one of my other slivers, trade, and I've still got reach for the next Delver that, that comes out. So I've got one sliver that's gonna be very scary. Um, I'm also uh, running a play set of gem height sliver. Uh, this one seems like kind of, more or less kind of an obvious one. It is a one one for two, which is a little below the curve on power, but what it makes up for there is its tapping ability. Uh, all slivers have the ability to tap, generate one mana of any color. Uh, that is going to be great uh, for uh, the green and white, so that makes sure I'm never color screwed. Uh, and this is going to combo very nicely uh, with Quick Sliver, uh, which is uh, a 1-1 one, one for 2 as well. Uh, this gives all slivers flash. Um, and one of the things that I, I was able to, to test out a few cards, and I was very excited about this one because when I played it, Suddenly I was playing a draw go deck. So I was playing this somewhat control deck. All of my slivers had flash, which meant that I could just pass turn, let them do whatever they wanted, 
uh, I could save mana for responses, and then at the end of their turn is when I drop my creep, my slivers into play. I think this is also going to give added advantage where I'm going to be able to swing with my slivers, and they're not going to know if they can block or not because I can flash in a sinew sliver or a muscle sliver and instantly pump up my team and trade, not trade with them, kill their team or power in more damage. Uh, so I'm very excited that I'm going to be able to hold back secrets just right there for my uh, spell slots uh, as opposed to my creature slots. I've got uh, Ranger Skyle. Uh, I've got three uh, cards that basically do the same thing. I've got Ranger Skyle, I've got God's Willing, and I've got uh, Emerge Unscathed. Uh, all three of these are protection spells. I don't have any removal spells in my deck uh, yet. Uh, I may have to look into that uh, because I might get scared of other things. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so with, with those three cards, those are protection spells. The reason I really care about those is say if I swing with three slivers, one of them being a muscle sliver and the other two being something else, well, if they kill the muscle sliver, my entire team powers down, they block in the right situations, and they kill my entire team, maybe the only, they, they get like a three for one off of me just simply by killing off uh, a muscle sliver. So that these are gonna be really important. Ranger's Guile, destroy target creature, I'm able to protect the muscle sliver and keep my team up and running. Uh, Ranger's Guile also gives a plus one, plus one. Uh, the God's Willing gives the scry ability, which is scrying is always a wonderful uh, wonderful addition to any card. And uh, Emergence Gave, I, I almost feel like this is the worst one because I want the surprise factor. So whenever they, they shoot a card at me, I can surprise them with it. Uh, with Emergence Gave, I pretty much only get the protection ability once. The secondary protection ability is okay. I think that I'm going to be able to use that as a, a way to push through damage. So on this turn, Emergence Gave to prevent your kill spell. Next turn it rebounds, I'm going to target my biggest creature and just swing for free damage because if it has protection from a color, you can't block it with that color. And a lot of these popper decks are monocolored. I want to preface all of this with I don't know. I do a YouTube video every day of the year. Today I'm super excited about this so I wanted to talk about it, but I also haven't been able to play test this at all. I'm going to play test it tonight. Given what I've just said, and if you know more about popper than I do, uh, I think that I've got some sideboard space to really uh, to really expand what I want to do. The thing is, there is a card called Homing Sliver. Homing Sliver has a very special ability. Uh, it costs three Sliver Cycling. I can discard it from my hand or discard any Sliver if it's on the board and search my deck for a Sliver card. Uh, the reason this is really exciting is that if I put four of those in the sideboard, uh, they are red, so I may have to put like a mountain or uh, some some red mana in there. But if I put four of those in the sideboard, that gives me twelve. Uh, I'm sorry, not twelve. Eleven other slots that I can put single slivers into. That that way, basically, I'm sideboarding in five of a single sliver because this kind of becomes a toolbox deck. What's the one card that's going to shut down your deck? Well, my homing slivers are going to find it. So that's going to give me a lot of options uh, with my sideboard. Uh, so, if you know more about the meta, I would love to hear from you, what you think I should be worried about, and so forth. Maybe I can look into slivers that will bail me out of those problems. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow, and have a good night.